Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets review video. In this video, we have the LaFont M210. So this is a compact automatic robotic vacuum that self-charges, and it also works with an app so you can control it from your phone. In addition to that, it also has integrations with Alexa. So if you wanna control it with your voice assistant, you can do that as well. All that for around $130 on Amazon, but you can even get it cheaper with a $20 coupon that they have right now. So you can get it for around 110. So in this video, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing of the robotic vacuum. Then we'll do some tests around my house and we'll see how it works. While I'm getting this open, I just wanna thank LaFont for sending me this vacuum to test. Thank you very much. All right, so on top we have some instruction manuals. Get into that later. Then we have the vacuum right here. Pull that out. Under that, it looks like we have brushes. These spin to push debris on the ground into the vacuum. It looks like they have some extras in there for you, which is always nice. Batteries for the remote. These are AAA. Here's the remote right here. As you can see, very nice looking remote with a digital screen, pretty cool. The charging station, so the vacuum would drive up on this. AC adapter for the charging station, and then a HEPA filter. And I believe this is an extra HEPA filter because there should already be one in the vacuum. And that's gonna be everything in the box. All right, so we'll get the vacuum out of here. Taking a closer look at the vacuum, as you can see on top, we have the power button. So this can be used to not only turn on and off the vacuum if you want to do that with the button, you can also use it to send it back to the charging station by double tapping it. And there's an LED in here that lets you know if it's charging or if it's heading back to the charging station, different things like that. On the top right here, you'll see a little nub that's sticking up. This is to prevent the vacuum from going under anything that might scratch it. So there's three of those on here. On the front right here, you have a very big sensor. So when this is driving around your home, it'll be able to see and detect any obstacles and it can avoid those. Additionally, on the top right here, we have a little flap that opens up and this is first where the power button's at. So you can turn it on and off right there. And then we have the dust bin that we can just pull right out. As you can see, it does come with a HEPA filter. And this is where all the debris that the vacuum picks up will be stored. So you would simply pull this out using this little clip, then you just push this like this and you can dump out any of the debris in here and close it up, put it back in the vacuum, and then it's ready to go vacuum again. Very easy and you can easily clean this as well. Looking at the bottom of the vacuum, we have the wheel that allows it to turn. We have two spots for the brushes to go and we can install those by just pushing them down very easy to install that. So now those are ready to spin and these rotate to push debris into the vacuum where it sucks it up. As you can see, there's a nice piece of rubber right here. So as this is running on the floor, everything will be pushed into the vacuum right there. Nice wheels with a good suspension on them and nice tread as well. And then the two metal pieces right here, that's where the device will drive up onto the charging station and begin charging. You also have some sensors, one, two, and three, and these will help it identify stairs. So if you do have stairs in your house and you're gonna vacuum, the vacuum will go up to the stairs, sense the stairs, and then turn around. It will not drive over and fall over the stairs, which is good. All right, so that was a quick look at the LaFont M210. Let's go ahead and get it set up in my house, and then we can see how it works. All right, so it's really easy to set up the LaFont robotic vacuum. You first wanna make sure you have the charging station plugged in. Then you wanna turn on the red button by sliding it all the way to the right, and then just put the vacuum on the charging station until the blue light starts blinking. That means the vacuum is charging. And then you have three different options to control the vacuum. First, you can use the button on the vacuum by tapping it once to have it start automatically vacuuming or double tapping it for it to go back home. You can then use the included controller that comes with batteries. And this can control basically every aspect of the vacuum, including scheduling. You could put it in automatic mode, self-charging mode. These arrows right here allow you to control the vacuum, kind of like a remote control car. You could put it in spot cleaning mode, perimeter mode, and then even control the vacuum strength. So they have high, medium, and low. In addition to that, you can use the LaFont Life app on your iPhone or Android phone and check the description of direct links to it there. So go ahead and get that installed and we can connect it to the vacuum and control the vacuum with our phone. Once you open the app, you just wanna hit the plus button in the top right, then tell it the type of vacuum you have. We have the M210. So I'll enter my Wi-Fi information, select next. Once you do that, they want us to turn on the vacuum, which we should have already done, select next. And then we need to hold down the power button for three seconds until the light starts blinking and we hear a beep. Confirm it's blinking rapidly and then select next. Enter your password information one more time. 
and then we'll go through the process of setting up the M210. Once you hear the beep on your vacuum, then you're ready to go and you can select next. Now when we open the app, we'll see the vacuum there. We can select it and we have the ability to see some information about it. As you can see, it's currently charging and we can control it with these menu items on the bottom. So if I hit smart at the bottom, it'll get the vacuum to start smart vacuuming my office. I can also select charging base and this will send the vacuum back home so that it begins charging. You also have the option to slide to the right where you can see more vacuuming items such as bow, wall follow, spiral, manual, where you can manually control the vacuum and then we can go into the settings of the vacuum right here. In here we can change the suction amount so they have low, middle, and high. That'll also change the loudness of the vacuum so just keep that in mind. Next in here, if we've lost our vacuum, maybe it's stuck under furniture, we can select seek vacuum, confirm, and then the vacuum will start making noise. And then finally in here we have a record of all the cleanings and then a timer of how long it's vacuumed. So that's the setup process and a quick overview of the controls within the app. Let's go ahead and get this vacuuming and see how well it does. All right, so now I have the vacuum set up in my living room and I'll quickly th go through the different options for vacuuming so that you can see what those look like. So we'll start with automatic. So basically the automatic method for this vacuum cleaner involves the vacuum kind of just bouncing around your house and after a certain period of time it will have vacuumed the entire floor. So there really is no smart ability for it to map your house. It's going to just bounce around until it cleans everything. Now I'm going to put it in bow mode and we'll see what that looks like. So basically what bow mode does is it has the vacuum vacuum back and forth across your floor. I think this is a really efficient way of cleaning, so I'd probably use bow mode going forward. Next we have wall follow. The vacuum basically goes to the perimeter of the room and it will follow that all the way around any furniture or your walls, which is a good way to pick up dust and debris that's caught in the corner of rooms. And then finally we have spiral mode or spot mode. So I'll hit that and you can see how the vacuum will kind of focus on one area. All right, so that was a quick demonstration of the LaFont M210 vacuuming my house. And while I did show you several different modes that are available on this vacuum, from my experience, auto is going to be the best. You can use some of the other modes to maybe hit a spot that you want or get some dust that's stuck in the corner of your room. But if you use auto, the vacuum will completely vacuum whatever area it has access to. And the coolest thing about it, once it's done, it'll drive and go charge itself. Now overall, really impressed with the remote control. I like how it has a clock and also shows you what time it's currently scheduled to automatically turn on. You can control all the different available modes as well as move it around if you need to as well. And all of this functionality is also available in the app. So you don't even need to have the remote control. You could just use your phone as long as you're connected to Wi-Fi. Overall, I am pretty happy with the experience I've had with this vacuum when cleaning my floors. And I did find that it works better on non-carpeted floors. So maybe linoleum, hardwood floors, things like that. Because it lacks a spinning brush right here at the intake, it doesn't do the best job when vacuuming carpets, but if you're on a hard surface floor, it's gonna do a really good job of picking up all the dust and debris on the ground as long as it can fit in that hole. That being said, when it was vacuuming carpet, it still did pick up some of the debris, it's just not as good as if it had a brush on the intake. When it comes to how loud the vacuum is, if it's on the high setting, it is pretty loud, but that is a trade-off because you're getting a lot more suction. Now, like I said, you can change through three different speeds available on this vacuum. So if it's a little bit loud, just turn down the speed to low or middle, and then that volume will go down accordingly. So while the lack of a brush here can be a problem if you do have a lot of carpet or rug in your house, there are some benefits to not having the brush, and that's because things don't get caught in the brush this leads to less maintenance and also less risk of the vacuum breaking or breaking something because it was caught in that brush. 
So if you have a lot of pets, this might be the vacuum for you because you'll have to do less maintenance with cleaning that brush. And then also just from the vacuum running in and sucking up wires or different things on the ground, those probably will not get sucked up into this because they'll be a little bit heavy for the suction and they won't get caught around the brush where they either break or they break the vacuum. So that's something to think about. It's one of the trade-offs of not having the brush, but it can be a benefit depending on your needs. Overall, for a price of about $130, I would highly recommend the LaFont M210. I love that it comes with a remote and you can also control it from your phone. It does a good job of vacuuming and you can also use the additional vacuum modes to do any specialized vacuuming around your home. It has good sensors on it, so it's compatible with your furniture and also stairs if you have those. I like that you can control the loudness of the vacuum by changing the speed. It also is a little bit more pet friendly because it doesn't have that brush in the middle. It won't have any trouble navigating your house because of these large wheels with a nice suspension, so it'll even be able to go over the thickest carpets. Finally, it's very easy to empty and clean the vacuum with this access panel and then the bin here that pulls out and you can just throw everything away and clean this whenever you need to. All right, so that was the LaFont M210 robotic vacuum. If you have any questions about this device, leave a comment below, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm going to add Amazon affiliate links to the description below so you can find this exact vacuum on Amazon. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.